inspiring people to take back their health, coaching them into the future, and empowering them to live to their fullest potential. Find Doctors Warren at DrsWarren.com or like them on Facebook at Doctors Warren. All right, guys, welcome to Wellness Radio. I'm your health expert, Dr. Nathan Warren. And so I'm super excited to be here with you guys today. Uh, I got a great show lined up for you uh, that I think will uh, will provide a lot of great information on you know moving your health in the right direction. Um, but also, too, I'm going to be going over uh, some things that I, I think uh, you know most of you guys may be doing right now that actually may be harming your health uh, rather than helping your health, uh, especially when it comes to supplementation. So I'm going to be going over that. I'm going to be going over um, actually tossing out two of the most popular supplements uh, actually out of your cabinet, getting rid of those uh, and why you should. Uh, And then also too, I'm going to be going over how to get rid of inflammation, which is the culprit uh, pretty much of all chronic disease inside of the body. Uh, And again, I'm talking about chronic inflammation. And then I'm also going to be talking about rebuilding the gut to rebuild you uh, and the importance of actually dealing with your gut and digestive health. When I say gut, I think a lot of times people think, uh, you know, unfortunately they still think, uh, you know, well, you know, maybe a a belly or they think about, you know, just their stomach, but we're talking about, you know, the whole entire GI system, uh, the system that that literally breaks down your food, assimilates those and turns those into uh, new brand new cells that make up you, right? And how to actually rebuild that from the ground up and why that's super important. So we're gonna be going over all that today on Wellness Radio. Um, So if you haven't yet, go on Facebook, uh, like and follow our page there so you can join us live on Facebook. Um, Again, guys, there you can ask your questions, you can follow along, um, anything, any comments that you wanna make, you can make it as we go down. Uh, I love to get interaction there on Facebook Live. So Drs. Warren, D-R-S-W-A-R-R-E-N, uh, on our Facebook as well. So uh, again, guys, as we jump into this, some of you guys have never heard this show before, so I do want to take a minute to introduce uh, myself. Uh, I am a local uh, healthcare provider here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, we do structural corrective chiropractic in our office. We also do a lot of functional wellness and functional medicine there, uh, doing uh, dealing with a lot of functional nutrition, dealing with a lot of testing, like actual testing, like uh, you know gut testing. Uh, you know, I work with a lot of patients with mold and Lyme and all kinds of toxicity issues uh, as well. So, uh, and then we dive into Dr. Rebecca works with a lot of uh, hormones and thyroid issues and things like that. Uh, and then we work with just a lot of wellness, right? A lot of kids in our office and everything. Um, so again, we're very well-rounded and we approach your body from a holistic standpoint. And our whole goal is very simple, right? It's this, it's your body was created to heal, right? It's not an opinion, it's an absolute fact. Uh, It is not arguable. Your body is created to heal. If you're breathing right now, that means your body is also uh, in the process of healing. And so what we want to do in our office is very simple. We want to remove any interference that's dealing with your body's ability to heal. So that means if your lack of nutrition or you know rancid you know vegetable oils or you know tons of sugar that you're bringing in we want to remove those things so why so that your body can heal appropriately um again if it's the nervous system if you've got scoliosis or if you have chronic low back pain or chronic neck pain again we want to remove those uh, interferences we want to actually correct that right so that your nervous system is able to work the way it's supposed to so your body's able to heal if you have toxicity if you have mercury aluminum mold uh, maybe you have things like BPA, phthalates, plastics that's built up inside your body. Maybe you worked at a plant uh, you know, for the last 30, 40 years uh, and have been exposed to high amounts of radiation or other things like that. Again, we have to remove those things and we actually have to start getting the body uh, into a healing state. And again, the body is designed to do that. We just have to make sure uh, that we're removing any interference in that process. That's what we do in our office, all right? So again, it's actually very, very simple. Um, you know, and, and it makes profound effects on people. So, uh, you know, again, if you guys are dealing with autoimmune issues, if you're dealing with digestive issues, if you're dealing with, uh, you know, maybe it's just headaches, migraines, those type of things, guys, come in and see us. We'd love to be able to see you here in Chattanooga. We're located across from the YMCA in Hamilton Place, right next to the Home Depot. All right. Um, and again, if you want one of those appointments, 
I said last week as I was doing this, because I was thinking it was like where it was going to be the end of the year, uh, that our special for December, last week was the last week you could do it. Um, but guess what? I guess we had one more Saturday in the month. That's what I get for never looking at a calendar. Um, sometimes I joke in the office uh, with, with everybody and I let them know, listen, I, they just tell me where to be and I just show up. That's it. Like, um, again, they're all, all the brains behind the operation are not coming from me. Uh, they're coming from uh, you know all the all the ladies in our office, uh, Dr. Rebecca, Mary Beth, Anna, those people. So um, again, I didn't realize there was one more Saturday, but there is. So if you want to take advantage of our December holiday gifts, uh, instead of 150, it's only 45. And again, that's the lowest it's going to be. That is our gift to you during the holiday season to come in and actually sit down with us, go over you know your health history, do a surface EMG to check your nervous system, X-rays to see exactly what your spine and nervous system are doing and how they're functioning and then also a meta oxy test meta oxy is literally looking at how much cellular stress do you have how much damage do you have on your cells on a daily basis very very powerful tool to know exactly what's going on there so again uh, you can give Anna a call she's standing by that number is 423-362-5360 we only have three appointments for this show uh, this week because again uh, we are we are pretty well booked the next couple weeks so we only have three appointments uh, for this show if you want that $45 appointment make sure you give her a call 423-362-5360 now before we dive into the topic I wanted to go over a new study that just recently came out I thought it was really really cool uh, it's a study that actually shows how powerful emotions are all right and so what they did is they took a group of people I think it was about 80 people that they used and they did one group where they did laughing yoga all right laughing yoga I, I didn't even know this thing existed uh, you know it, but but apparently it's a real thing it's called laughing yoga it's basically focused laughter right um, you know and really getting the body to express joy and laughter and anyway they took one group that did that and took placebo they took another group that did uh, they did uh, you know this this laughing yoga and took anxiety medication and then they had a third group that just took the anxiety medication and what they found you know after the, the course of time I think it was like six months what they found is that the group that did the laughing yoga and the placebo, they also, what they found is a significant difference in their anxiety levels compared to the people that did laughing yoga and took anxiety medication and the people that just took anxiety medication. <clears throat> so that being said, when we look at that, you know, it's, it's a great uh, example of how our emotions directly influence us at a cellular level. We tell our patients this all the time, you know, this isn't even something that's disputed anymore, which is why, you know, one of my, one of my least favorite things that our medical system does is when a patient sits down in front of a doctor and they tell, oh, I'm sorry, you have cancer and you have six weeks to live. I think that is absolutely insanity. The fact that you can even think you can predict when somebody is going to die is insane. And what ends up happening is you take away a patient's hope. You take away a person's hope. When you take that away, guess what? Studies, right? Actual studies show that that person is either going to die on that timeline or before. Right, and so I don't like that. I, I absolutely don't like that at all. Um, now that doesn't mean we can't be serious when we're delivering, you know, the message that you know there's some serious health issues going on. But what we have to realize is that emotions directly influence the way our cells function, even at a DNA level, even at the genetic level. We know that your thoughts will directly influence the way that your genes are expressed. And so I challenge you guys as we're coming to the end of this year, going into a brand new year, it's going to be the best year that you've ever had. Not because we just say that, but because you guys are going to put the action steps in to make it that way. Um, and I, I think it's going to be an absolutely amazing year. But we have to focus on our emotions and that means positive thinking right it doesn't mean that we can't ever get angry or that we can't get mad or that we can't get upset actually I think those are also great emotions to express and we definitely shouldn't bury those and hide those down we should express those but when we're able to you know again control we should be thinking a lot of positive thoughts when we wake up in the morning what are you thankful for what are you saying man i am just so thankful for maybe it's your family maybe it's your friends maybe it's your house maybe it's your your job maybe it's your your mission whatever god created you for whatever that is what are you thankful for when you wake up? What are you thankful for before you go to bed? What are some affirmations that you can tell yourself? You know, I love it when I when we take our kids, uh, you know, to school. They go to uh, forest school here in Chattanooga, which is 
super, super cool. I wish I was a kid again, you know, just to be able to do that. But on our way, you know, once we hit the interstate, they know it's like interstate affirmations. We're going to do it and we're going to yell and we're going to be excited and we're going to be happy. And we say things like, I'm strong and I'm powerful and I'm happy and I'm joyful. I'm, you know, I'm courageous and I'm brave, uh, you know, and, and I'm a warrior of God. We say things like that and we say it over and over again and we change our physiology and we change our state. And guess what? My entire day changes when I do that. And so, you know, I've kind of learned from my kids that, you know, we want to build up this healthy mindset that is full of positivity, full of joy. Uh, and again, that I'm not telling you that we can't deal with other emotions. I think we should. Uh, and I think we should appropriately take the avenues to deal with those. And we should seek out, you know, counseling, you know, from, from people around us, from our friends, our family, our churchgoers. And we should actually, you know, counsel each other and we should be able to talk to people about that. But we should also be specifically trying to practice joy and positive thinking and laughter, right? Laughter is a powerful medicine no doubt about it. So now let's kind of dive into some of our, our topics of the day, right? I, you know, my first thing on Facebook Live that I posted uh, as far as the topic goes is maybe a little controversial because everybody likes to use them. Two of the most popular suppl supplements in Americans' cabinets nowadays are probiotics and fish oil. Like literally those are the two most common things that you're going to find. So even if I have a patient sit down in front of me that is still eating like crap, uh, you know, they're still eating fast food all the time. They're, you know, they're not really exercising. Uh, they're massively stressed out at work and in their life in general. Um, I still sit down and on their paper, they could be on six different medications and I still see, oh, fish oil and probiotics on there, right? Now, I wanna make it very clear, I'm not gonna completely bust on these and I'm gonna go over ways that you can actually utilize these in a healthy, healthier form, but what I will say is those are usually the first two that I get my patients and clients off of, all right? Those are usually the first two I'm like, man, just stop, we don't wanna be on those anymore, and I'll give you a few reasons for that. Number one, let's dive into the, this whole realm of fish oil, right? So people are taking these massive doses of fish oil. Fish oil, right? So fish, you know, the, the oil that's actually in them. So the, the, they, you know, it's touted with its benefits of omega-3 uh, and all of those, those things as well for, you know, the slightly thinning the blood. Uh, and, and really, when we look at fish oil, what is it used for inside of the fish? The oil inside of the fish is basically like antifreeze for the fish. And so when we look at the warmest fish that you're going to find and the warmest waters that you're going to find, what, maybe 72 to 75 degrees, how hot is your body inside? What is your internal temperature? What, 97 to 99 degrees, depending on the person? And so guess what, that, guess what happens as soon as that fish oil hits the body, right? There's a great chance that it's gone rancid. Not to mention that the majority of fish oil that actually hits the market, and by the time it hits your supplement, uh, is usually rancid to begin with, all right? Uh, now, does that mean all fish oil is created equal? Absolutely not, and I will go over some of my, I, what I think are my favorite brands of fish oil. If you're gonna use fish oil, I'm gonna go over some alternatives too. Um, but, but at the same time, we have to realize the rancidity of these oils will actually create even more issues uh, inside the body. And guess what? Some of that is supported by literature as well. Even though there's a lot of studies out there, right, that show that fish oil is great, there is, you know, again, several out there that show the opposite, right? That actually the overconsumption of fish oil can, can actually be dangerous. I'd rather you guys get your fish oil from actually eating, you know, cold water wild caught fish, um, you know, and really choosing smaller fish to consume. Now, I got to take a quick break, but when we get back, I'm going to dive more into that, the realm of fish oil and probiotics and why they may actually be harming you more than they're actually helping you. Uh, and I'm going to give you other suggestions as well as we're going. We're going to be going over how to squash inflammation uh, and as well as how to rebuild the gut. So we've got a lot to get to in the show. So make sure that you stay tuned to Wellness Radio. Uh, any questions, get on Doctors Warren on Facebook. Ask those questions, interact. I love those questions. I love to answer them during the break. And again, if you want one of those appointments, instead of 150, only 45, give Anna a call. She's standing by 423-362-5360, 423-362-5360. This is Wellness Radio. I'm your host, Dr. Nathan Warren. I'll be right back after the break. All right, guys, good to see you guys on here. Let's see, and he said, Dr. Warren, our one-stop shop 
for healing. Thank you for that, man. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, we can't wait to see you again. We miss you. I hope you have a uh, have had a merry merry Christmas. I hope all you guys had a merry Christmas, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the holiday season. Um, I hope you is full of love, full of laughter, you know, full of joy. Uh, I know ours was. It was an absolutely amazing time. We got to spend with uh, my grandmother, you know, in, in Mississippi, uh, and lots of my lots of my family. It was an absolute blast. I absolutely enjoyed it. It was great. So I hope all of you do uh, really really you know enjoy it as well too. So let's dive into it. Listen, the two top supplements in people's cabinets that everybody and their mother is taking fish oil probiotics so those are the first two I usually get patients off of now let me explain before you guys get you know get all uh, you know knotted up and everything about it let me explain my reasoning behind this when we look at fish oil right we look at the way it's made up <clears throat> you know these people every, you you guys in general are taking these massive doses of EPA and DHA and so what we know is that again some of these parent of these parent uh, you know essential oils that are actually in these things we know that some some of the conversion there is not as great as it could be now here's the bottom line it's not just about shoving as much omega-3 into the body as we possibly can actually the the sustainable way to do it is getting around a three to one to four to one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 and so <coughs> excuse me so what we're finding is people are starting to change their diet right which is a great thing and that's really the foundation to balancing out your omega levels inside of your body and your fat ratio inside of your body is changing your diet number one but what's ended up happening is they're taking these massive doses of omega-3 right in the form of fish oil and they're really overloading their omega-3 this is a dangerous thing to do and let me explain why one of the most important things <clears throat> actually in the intracellular area so inside of the cell is this little this little molecule called cardiolipin now cardiolipin is a, is an omega-6 right it is literally an omega-6 and so why is this important this cardiolipin is literally what helps your cells to die that means it helps your cells to perform what's called apoptosis when it's under too much stress or has too much damage so that means it's going to perform cellular death if you do not have the right amount of cardiolipin your cells will not die what does it turn into an immortal cell is what that's a cancer cell and so cardiolipin is very very important so it's not just about dumping as much omega-3 in the body as we possibly can as much as it is about getting balance right actually getting balanced and then one of the things I just talked about a second ago is the rancidity issue with fish oil we actually know there is a time even some of the greatest brands that are out there like I actually like the brand if you're going to use fish oil to use something like a fermented cod liver oil you know uh, i know green pastures is a really great brand but even that brand you know for a, there was a, some testing done a few years back and actually showed that brand was actually rancid as well when it was going inside of the body and so we know that fish oil is very very easily damaged by heat All right, guys, welcome back to Wellness Radio. I'm your health expert, Dr. Nathan Warren. Um, and so on this show today, we've been going over some great things so far. I've talked to you guys about the studies on how laughter can actually be more of a, uh, a, a, be a better tool to use, right, for anxiety than even anxiety medications. Now, remember, I'm not telling you just to jump off of your meds. Um, actually work with a medical physician, you know, to, to really balance those things out before you can get off of that. But what I am telling you is that there are some powerful tools that we're not using like laughter and like positive thinking and like you know literally it's trying to express focus joy uh, can be a very very powerful medicine especially during the holiday season here um, and then the other thing we've been going over is the two most popular supplements in your cabinet today may be harming you more than they're helping you so looking at fish oil and looking at probiotics fish oil the biggest thing about it is that we're creating this overproduction of omega-3 in the body when we really need a balance about a three to one to four to one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 uh, balance of fat in our body body 
Um, and so again, just getting a ton of omega-3 is not going to solve the problem at all. And actually some of the things that it's touted for like heart health, you know, I would even go, I would even go on, especially when you're looking at, you know, some of the studies, which if it's an epidemiological study, which means they look at, you know, a giant group of people, I, you know, I really don't pay too much attention to those studies. Um, you know, again, it, it's just uh, not a lot about, uh, you know, actually like a causation, you know, it's more of a, an association instead of correlation. So I'm not not, not a really big fan of epidemiological studies. Um, you know, I really like to kind of dive in and say, hey, you know, what is the, the molecular makeup of, you know, fish oil? And the majority of it's omega-3, and we actually need to balance. When you're looking at the inner lining of your vessels, so the inner lining of your arteries and vessels are actually 100% omega-6, right? And so if you're overloading your body with tons of omega-3, uh, again, you could be causing yourself more harm than help. Now, that being said, the majority of fish oil that you are taking is already rancid, and if, even if it's not, once it hits your internal body temperature, again, I would even argue that that, uh, you know, again, it contributes to some of the rancidity there. You know, and then plus some of the ways that, uh, again, they catch the fish depending on uh, the company that you're using. Uh, now, there are a couple companies that literally use direct like flash freezing of the fish upon catching them uh, and then really use a, a really good quality process to kind of cold press it uh, and to make sure that they're you know adding things like nitrogen bubble or you know things like rosemary extract or even more powerful like astaxanthin in there to really you know try to cut down on the rancidity of the oil uh, but for the most part i would just skip it right there's better things that you can do number one balance your diet right consume high amounts of good healthy fat and get rid of the rancid vegetables oils that's the really the biggest killer right there is if you get rid of the bench the vegetable rancid oils there those industrial seed oils we know right there you're gonna make a huge impact on your health and so again our bodies are not meant to break down some of these oils like soybean oil canola oil you know which is basically rapeseed oil corn oil cottonseed oil safflower seed oil these are all you know a part of a westernized diet that are absolutely killing you the number one thing you do going into this new year right besides you know focusing on uh you know on, on on really creating a loving environment in your life you know besides that i would say would be get rid of the vegetable oil it's absolutely toxic 132 days of cell dysfunction when you consume you know a little bit of vegetable oil so we know it absolutely damages your cells so instead start consuming some good healthy fat so like avocado oil grass-fed butter you know some of the the ones that i really like when it comes to your if you're trying to get more omega-3s in things like cold pressed flaxseed oil that you can get in a dark bottle that you keep in the refrigerator uh, you can put it in smoothies you can put it in shakes you can take it by the spoonful uh, things like hemp seed oil utilizing cold pressed Press raw organic hemp seed oil. Uh, you can use chia oil, so chia seeds. You can eat chia seeds. You can eat hemp seeds. These are great ways to get a good balance of omega-3, 6, and 9 in there uh, as well. So I like these. Now, if you are looking for a supplement to take to actually build up your ratio of healthy fats, some of the ones that I recommend that have a balance, right? We're trying to hit that 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. I like using Vista 1 and Vista 2 by Systemic Formulas. Uh, again, it is a balance of you know things like hemp seed oil, flaxseed oil, borage oil, evening primrose oil. Um, it's got things like phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylserine. It's got the building blocks of your cells, right? How to build up the outer membrane of the cell and the inner membrane of the cell. I also like using Pure Form Omega. Pure Form Omega is actually raw, cold press. Uh, you know oils that are things like again some of those ones I just mentioned and it's like a perfect ratio about three to one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 and you're gonna take a capsule per 10 pounds of body weight there and that's a fantastic way to do it and so again if you guys are out there and you are a vegan as well like you don't you consume any animal fats pure form omega is is a completely uh, you know a vegan based supplement as well too so you can actually take it. it's a plant-based supplement but it's from cold press and they actually put a nitrogen bubble in there to actually preserve those fats. I'd much rather you do that 
when it comes to that. So again, get rid of the fish oil, start utilizing some of these really good healthy oils instead, uh, really good healthy fats and building it up that way. Now, if you're somebody that's dealing with like maybe you have some skin issues, like maybe it's eczema, maybe it's psoriasis, maybe you have a lot of joint pain and you've actually noticed some improvements because again, I have had patients that say, hey, I've taken some fish oil, seen some major benefits in joint improvement. So if you are gonna, going to do it, right, you wanna find one in really good cold press form. So there's one by Designs for Health that I use um, only for a short period of time if I really need to raise the omega-3 and it's surrounded by things like, again, it's got nitrogen bubble in there to actually create you know, uh, an environment that doesn't allow it to go rancid. It's got astaxanthin in it and it's taken at therapeutic doses for a short amount of time. Now, what I would rather you guys use, right, are things like uh, you can actually use algae oil, so algal oil. So when you think about how do fish get their omega-6 and omega-3 fats in them, they actually get it from what? From eating things like microalgae and plankton. And so that's really where all the good healthy fat is, and that's where the fat is not going to go rancid. So you can consume, you know, these things like, uh, you know, again, like algae, and you can get it in the form of algae oil. They actually come, the supplement we use for our kids doesn't have fish oil in it. It has algae oil, which with withstands heat so much better uh, and is balanced out with other healthy oils as well. Um, you can use things like, I would rather you even use something like krill oil, which is number one, more sustainable, and number two, it's going to be able to withstand higher heat temperature. So again, krill oil would be much better. So like Dr. Mercola makes a krill oil with astaxanthin in it. Uh, he's got another product called Keto Krill that is actually a really good one I like as well. Um, and he's got one for women that's balanced with evening primrose oil as well too so he's got some good ones out there um, but I'd rather use curl oil, especially if, it, if it's a skin issue and you're using it for a short amount of time I'd rather use that than fish oil uh, and again I think you're gonna get better therapeutic uh, effects from that so again fish oil we don't want it going rancid inside of the body I think it's creating more problems than it's actually helping uh, now if you are supplementing like maybe your kids you're supplementing with like fermented cod liver oil to get the vitamins A, D, E, and K I think that's okay right doing that on a daily basis uh, that's a little bit different because again coming from the actual liver uh, of the, the codfish is, is completely different you know again the fermentation process like green pastures I know they really did a lot to, to really uh, kind of revamp their products so doing that to get really really good amounts of vitamin A, D, E, and K I think is not a bad not a bad uh, choice uh, at all, especially for your kiddos. Now, probiotics. Let me dive into that for just a second. Everybody and their mother is taking probiotics. We're trying to get probiotics in our drinks, kombucha, all these different things. Uh, you know, probiotics are you know being loaded into now our food bars, everything that's out there. And really, when we look at probiotics, it's not as simple as just throwing bacteria into the gut, right? If you don't have an environment that's conducive to actually grab those bacteria and allow those to proliferate well. Again, really, you're, you're just kind of wasting your money, to be honest with you. And sometimes, if you've been taking the same probiotic for months, if not years, you're actually creating a monoculture in the gut. So I like to rotate bacteria if you're going to use probiotics. The other thing with it is when you go to the grocery store and you see the you know 80 billion CFU or the 500 billion CFU, you know, most of that is actually going to die in the stomach acid. So it's not even going to make it to the part of the intestine for it to proliferate well. And so that being said, you know, if you're taking 80 billion, maybe 100 billion CFU, you may get a few thousand that actually make it to the gut. And even those are probably not going to proliferate well. So a lot of that, now that doesn't mean that probiotics can't have benefits. We actually know that even if they don't survive to make it to the intestine, they can still boost the immune system. So I'm not saying there's no benefit to those at all. But what I am saying is let's figure out ways that we can get more of a benefit from it. And so that's why I like using things like spore form probiotics. And so when we get back from the break, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about that and what makes things like probiotics in their spore form, what makes those different than the ones that you're taking and how can we get those things uh, you know, on a regular basis and how can we build up the environment of the gut, which is another topic we're going to talk about. So make sure that you stay tuned, guys. And if you want one of our appointments, like I've been saying throughout the show, we set aside three appointments at the beginning of the show. I have no idea how many of those are left. Um, 
Um, so you can call Anna if you want to set one of those up. Instead of 150, it's only 45. That's our holiday gift to you as December is rolling on here. This is officially the last Saturday in December. Uh, so again, if you want to take advantage of that, give her a call 423-362-5360. 423-362-5360. Grab one of those appointments. I'd love to see you in the office. This is Wellness Radio. I'm your host, Dr. Nathan Warren, and I'll be right back after the break. All right, guys. So we've been diving into a lot of things here on the show. Let's see. I had a question here from Ann. Doctor says I need a steroidal nasal spray to breathe better with asthmatic bronchitis. What can I supplement that with? Does colloidal silver nasal spray help breathing? You know, colloidal silver nasal spray is great for really kind of like, uh, you know, stopping like infection, especially if it's like bacterial uh, or if you've got some fungal infection going on in the nasal cavity. Um, you know, but here's what I would do instead. You know, I would actually talk to your, your doctor and I would see about if they will prescribe you. Sometimes you can get from a farm from a, a compounding pharmacy. One of the best things I've found is if you can actually get uh, like a prescription for like a nebulizer that has what's called N-acetylcysteine in it, N-A-C, right? N-A-C is a precursor for glutathione and it's been shown to have amazing effects on things like asthma, bronchitis, COPD, and even cystic fibrosis. So NAC, N-acetylcysteine. So I would talk to my physician about that and I would say, hey, you know, I would really love if you could write me a prescription, find a compound pharmacy, and they will actually make that into a nebulizer that you can use, which would be much, much better than actually utilizing, uh, you know, a regular, uh, you know, regular asthma or bronchitis medication. Uh, let's see, Kaylee says, I have double pneumonia, right? Holy smokes. First, the flu, double ear infection. I've had a hard time breathing. Uh, what is one thing that you would take? I, again, Kaylee, I would really, you know, I, I, I really think that that would be something that would benefit you a lot. If you can't get, you know, somebody to write you a script uh, for a compound pharmacy to get in acetylcysteine, right, in nebulized form, you know, I would actually get a supplement of in acetylcysteine and I would take therapeutic doses of it, high amounts of it. Right, because high amounts of N-acetylcysteine are amazing for the lungs. Again, it's a glutathione precursor, so it does a lot for the immune system. The other thing that I would do, Kaylee, is you really got to support your immune system. So I get online, there's a supplement called immune, so it's multi-immune transfer factor, okay? Multi-immune transfer factor. I think it's by a company called Research Nutritionals, and I would do uh, each day, I would do two capsules three times a day but it's gonna have some amazing immune boosters that really balance out the TH1 and TH2 immune system. And so that's gonna be doses that, that again, I usually recommend for patients that are going through things like cancer uh, as well. You know, We don't treat cancer or do anything like that in our office, but just some, some major support for the immune system. So N-acetylcysteine and therapeutic doses and that, and also to do some work on the vagus nerve. So if you're getting adjusted, get adjusted more, or uh, you know, again, if you're, if you're in the area or something, you know, let, let us know if there's any way we can help you, um, you know, really getting that vagus nerve. Remember, the vagus nerve is actually what supplies, you know, the, the muscles to the diaphragm as well, especially with the coughing and everything like that. Uh, you could try some wild cherry bark syrup to see if you can kind of calm down some of the coughing as well. But those are some of the ones that I would do uh, as well, too. Um, let's see. What about nebulizing colloidal silver? Yeah, Jason, you can do some of that. Nebulizing colloidal silver. You can nebulize things like essential oils like citrus essential oils is great. Um, that's something that I think would be really, really good as well. Um, you know, make sure that you're using really, really clean, uh, you know, uh, nebulizer, really, really clean products at, at that as well. Yeah, Vegas nerve, man. You got to get really get that. Again, the adjustment would be amazing for you. Um, you know, I know dealing with that, you know, one of the last things that you want to do is, you know, do, do anything like that. But I'm telling you, it's one of the most powerful tools we have to boost the immune system and work on, uh, you know, some things like that. Uh, let's see, Wild Cherry Bark Syrup. Yeah, you're right. That's a great one as well. It's not a miracle cure to a cough, but it may give you enough time to kind of, you know, calm that down a bit, uh, you know, with, with the coughing as well too. But yeah, uh, sorry about it. Man, that's that's a lot. You got hit really, really hard there. Let me know if there's anything else that, that I can do to, to kind of help you through that as well too. I would be taking like colloidal silver as well. You know, Kaylee, um, like I'd be doing that every like hour or two. I'd be taking, you know, a, a pretty good dose of that to really kind of calm down uh, some of that infection as well all right um also to you guys you know my battery may run out here if we do i'll do a recap at the end of the show 
Oh. All right, guys, welcome back to Wellness Radio. I'm your health expert, Dr. Nathan Warren. Um, guys, if this is your first time tuning into our show, welcome. Super excited to have you guys here, man. This is one of our favorite things to do where we get to dive into health, the real topics on health, how you can take control of it and start changing your life today. So we went over probiotics, went over fish oil. Let's dive into a little bit more about the probiotics and why you want to use it, you know, again, in a different form than just regular probiotics. Listen, you know, it, it's one of those things that we have to create a good environment to allow those bacteria to actually build up uh, and do some really, really great things in the gut. So I like using spore form probiotics. All right, so what does spore form mean? These are probiotics that are actually encapsulated, so they make this protective encapsulation, uh, you know, where, where I think in the majority of it's kind of made out of protein. This is protective encapsulation that protects them, you know, from even environmental factors, you know, from predators, things like that. And so they're in the spore form, that's where they live in our soil. So in, our, in, our, in, a, in the ground, so our ancestors, when they would eat vegetables or when they would kill, you know, a wild animal and they would consume those foods, they would actually get some of those spore form probiotics into their gut. And what's amazing is they don't open up until they actually get to the part of the intestine that they're supposed to. So that being said, these spore form probiotics really target the intestine. Now, some other great things about them is they're naturally selective, which means they help to beat back unwanted microorganisms that are there or microorganisms that are good for the gut that have just had too much growth, right? Um, they're actually naturally selective with that. So I love using spore form form probiotics. Now, this is not one where more is always better. I would start low and slow. So maybe starting with something like a Restore Flora, uh, you know, from Microbiome Labs is a really good one. Uh, I think you can go on Microbiome, Microbiome Labs and use the code Doctors Warren if you want to get that. Um, Restore Flora has got some Saccharomyces boulardii in it to help kind of beat back uh, some yeast overgrowth as well. Um, and also too, it, it actually allows your body, uh, you know, to again proliferate that bacteria in the intestine where it's supposed to and really have some profound effect on your health. Especially if you're having to take something like antibiotics, that restore flora is going to be huge because those spore form probiotics actually hold their shape and they do not open up, right? They're protected until those antibiotics leave your, that part of the digestive system. How amazing is that? They literally have an intelligence inside of them that is able to wait until it's, it's, it's a safe time for them to proliferate and open up. So restore flora, again, you can go on microbiome labs uh, and you can use the code Doctors Warren, D-R-S-W-A. R R E N if you want that. Um, again, and start doing that one capsule a day is great. This is great for kids as well. Um, the other fun thing about spore biotics, um, you know, one by the same company called Mega Spore Biotic. This is a great one that you can use with kids. You can actually bake it into things because it's able to withstand heat. I believe up to about 475 to 500 degrees. You can actually bake it. You can open up the capsules. You can bake it into, uh, you know, maybe some paleo brownies that you're making, or you can put it into your kids' food. They don't even know they're taking it, and they're getting really, really good beneficial microorganisms to actually build up the gut. So that's a great way to do it, right? So again, toss your old probiotics. If you're going to use them, use spore form probiotics. You can use things like fermented food sauerkraut, kimchi. Uh, you can use things like, uh, again, like uh, goat's milk yogurt. We like that a lot. You know, kefir. Um, you could use some of that. Again, I like using goat's milk or sheep's milk better than cow's milk. Um, but utilizing that is a much, much greater way to actually build up the microorganisms in your gut. Get your hands dirty. Get out into nature. Touch plants. Touch trees. You know, touch dirt. Uh, really, you know, just get involved with getting your body out in nature. That's another great way to build up those microorganisms. Now, this kind of segues into my next topic on kind of rebuilding the gut and why that's important. Guys, your gut health directly influences every single thing in the body, right? That means if you have a sick gut, you also have a sick brain. You're going to not be able to uh, absorb your nutrients very, very well. It's going to affect downstream pathways like your pancreas, your liver. Um, it can also affect things like the way your hormones. We know that even things like T3, your thyroid hormone, for it to work appropriately, you actually need help uh, in the gut. That's, a, that's one of the areas that it actually is able to uh, again, as far as like binding it and being utilized, uh, we really need that absorption rate in the gut. So your gut health is vastly important. Your gut health can even affect your mood, right? So if you're somebody who's dealing with depression, anxiety, you know, you got to fix the gut first. Uh, you guys have heard the term leaky gut, but leaky gut leads to leaky brain. It actually affects the brain as well. So we have to rebuild the gut, you know, from the foundation up. So again, we've talked about diet many times on, on, on this show before, 
but diet plays a major role. One of the best things and most powerful things you can do for rebuilding the gut that I like to do is actually utilizing some fasting, right? Some fasting techniques, whether that's water fasting or bone broth fasting, um, again, or even utilizing things like, uh, you know, like immune, like mushroom tea, like type of fasting you can actually use, uh, especially if you're trying to stay away from animal products, you can use something like an immune mushroom, uh, like kind of broth that you can make, but making sure that it has zero sugar in it, uh, a, a, again, and it's full of lots of good immune factors. I really like bone broth though much better. Uh, and my favorite form of fasting is just typical water fasting. But you can utilize fasting to really reset the microbiome. Actually, a three-day water fast turns over your gut membrane, like the, the lining of your gut, twice, right? So it's a huge, huge uh, transformation of the gut. It starts to actually kill back some of the, the unwanted bacteria and allow some of that good bacteria to proliferate. So one of the things that I'll do is as my patients are coming off of a fast, actually one of the first things that I'll have them do if their gut is ready for it, right? If there's somebody who deals with like autoimmune issues, maybe an overgrowth of bacteria in the upper intestine like SIBO, uh, I won't have them do this. But if they're fairly you know, healthy individual, they're doing it more for health, when they're coming off of that three or five day water fast, I'll actually have them use some of the some of the actual liquid in like sauerkraut um, or some of the liquid in like uh, you know maybe like it's like fermented pickles like bubbies or something. I'll actually have them add that to their bone broth as they're as they're coming off the fast just to introduce some really good microorganisms into the gut. Uh, that's a fantastic way to do it. Some other things that are great for rebuilding the gut that I like to use things like L-glutamine, licorice root, marshmallow root, these things are fantastic for actually really healing and sealing the gut. Aloe vera is a great one as well. It's good for healing and sealing the gut. Uh, if you're gonna do L-glutamine, you need to do about, uh, if you're an adult, about four grams a day. Uh, maybe a kid teenager more about two grams a day to really uh, see and heal and seal that gut. It does a really, really great job as well. So start rebuilding kind of the foundation of the gut there, calming it down uh, via diet, fasting, and some of those gut sealers there. Then you can start introducing some bacteria to it and rotating those forms of spore biotics. So uh, hopefully that gives you guys some good ideas with the gut. It directly affects your overall health. Right? And so those of you that are listening right now, that maybe this is a little overwhelming. Maybe you are just dealing with chronic pain, chronic headaches. Maybe you're dealing with hormone imbalance. Maybe you're dealing with digestive issues like irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, other autoimmune diseases. Guys, this is what we work with in our office. And again, we take a different approach than anything you've dealt with in, your, in the medical field. We actually take an approach that says, hey, let's figure out what's right with you and let's utilize that in order to rebuild health inside of the body. Uh, we're not just about, you know, again, cutting, poisoning ourselves to health. It's about actually getting down to the root cause and seeing your health transform. So if you want one of those, uh, again, holiday gift appointments instead of 150, it's only 45. That's gonna include exam, consultation, x-rays, uh, surface EMG to check your nervous system balance, and then also a meta-oxy to see how damaged your cells are. If you want one of those appointments, make sure that you give Anna a call. That number is 423-362-5360. Again, 423-362-5360. You can give her a call. Maybe you're listening on Facebook Live. Maybe you don't even live here. Guys, we also do virtual health coaching. Uh, it's not a doctor-patient relationship. It's a health coaching relationship. Um, and again, we coach people across the United States. Uh, so again, you can give her a call at that same number, 423-362-5360, and you can get set up for that in the new year, right? Making this new year the greatest one you've had when it comes to your health. So we're going to take a quick break, guys. This is Wellness Radio. I'm your health expert, Dr. Nathan Warren, uh, and we will be right back after the break. All right, guys. So again, I told you, you know, I, I was a bad, I did a bad thing. I didn't charge my phone last night. So if it dies, don't worry. I'll do a little recap at the end of this uh, once my phone is charged. So don't freak out. I'm going to go as long as I possibly can on here, um, you know, as, as far as that goes. But hopefully that made sense with the probiotics, right? We want to build up a good environment. It's only as good as that, right? Your gut is only as good as the environment that we're creating. And then again, with the fish oil going more towards these, these really good good cold press you know uh, you know oils like hemp seed oil coconut oil things like um, 
you know, again, flaxseed oil, borage oil, evening primrose oil, all of these are great to really create a balance. Uh, we talked about algae oil, you know, even things like spirulina and chlorella can be fantastic, you know, taking a, a, a pretty good doses there as well. Now, if you have heavy metals, uh, you know, heavy metal toxicity, or if you have mercury fillings in the mouth, I probably wouldn't do a lot of spirulina and chlorella 